Today, families and supporters handed in a petition with more than 22,000 signatures calling for the case to be reopened. The men were convicted solely on uncorroborated confessions, which some believe were faked. I'd say to people to look at the, the evidence which was used to convict these three people. Um, in effect, it was confessional evidence alone, and the confessions in themselves, if they are to believe, do not amount to somebody murdering another person. The most important, when a man could be sent to prison for life with no evidence, no forensic, no photograph, no witness. The police officer who took Winston Silcott's confession now faces disciplinary action over his conduct towards suspects. For some, it smacks of the Guildford Four and Birmingham Six. I appeal to people listening to this to support the Tottenham Three and the Birmingham Six and all the others who are wrongly imprisoned for reasons that would not stand up in a court of justice. Mounting official support came from speakers from the world of politics, religion, Crime civil liberties and even showbiz. Commit. Public outrage at the killing of PC Blakelock was so great that it's been difficult for this campaign to get any public sympathy. However, with well-respected organisations and MPs now backing the campaign and with support groups starting all over Britain, pressure on the Home Office is mounting.